hi guys what is up welcome back to my channel my name is journey and thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is the first time you see this face please make sure that you do click on the subscribe button and if you've been watching me and have seen me taking breaks and have judgmentally been looking at me like girl get your act together then thank you so much for taking the time to actually watch this video because wow it's hectic <laughs> so today's video is going to be very informative it's actually five things i wish i had learned or that i wish somebody had told me before i went into property went into being a landlord just the whole business of it five things that i wish somebody could have told me maybe i would have made better decisions maybe i would have said i'm not doing this anymore but i just wish somebody could would have told me I really wish somebody would have told me it would have saved me a lot of stress the first thing that I wish somebody would have told me was to set boundaries right this is a rule that I think everybody knows but I for some reason didn't take it as seriously as it was right as someone that is 23 years old still young I look very young uh, people tend to not respect you right There's, they seem to have that this is a child especially you know african people you know black people it's always like oh uh, no 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 uh they always have stories right so i wish somebody would have told me to have boundaries to yes be friendly be kind be respectful to my tenants but at the same time i should set my boundaries there's things that uh your tenants are not supposed to do like not paying your rent when it's due or not even communicating about such things that is a red flag that is a boundary that's not supposed to be uh, crossed so you need to set your boundaries and let your tenants know from the beginning that you will not tolerate this and that and that you need to let them know number two something that i wish i had learned or i wish i had taken more seriously was the building of property too far away right uh, my story is that I actually inherited property from my grandma. I don't know if inherited or inheriting is the right word to use, but she gave me the property and she said I could use it, right? And I was like, oh, nice property that I can use. I was very thankful, you know, that I can use this property. No one lives there, so at least I could use it, right? One thing that I wish uh, I would have considered in the beginning was how far this property was. This property was not where I stay. This property was not like 30 minutes away. It's like an hour and a half away from where I stay, right? Which means it's not easy to go to the, the place, right? It's not just something where you're like, ah, oh, let me just drive. Ah, oh, let me get a taxi or whatever, right? It's very far, right? Well, it's not very far, but it is quite far. Another thing, going to the place doesn't have transport. At the time when I didn't have a car, it was very difficult for me to go there because how do you get a taxi? You get a taxi, that's fine, from MTN or, well, not MTN, but you get a taxi in Joburg, um, which drops you in town, and then you still need to get taxis. There's places where taxis are cut off. Now you need to hike, which is not safe at all. So if I had considered such things with the area where the property was, if I had considered everything like fully, probably I would have said, no, this is not a good investment. So that's something I wish somebody would have taught me to look at everything, look at where the, the property you're buying is or the house, where is it, the people that live around there, would you be able to, if something goes wrong, would you be able to visit their place uh, freely, you know? Is it convenient for you? If it's not, for me, it wasn't convenient because it was very far. I was spending a lot of money going there. So that was not convenient for me at all number three something that i should have done from the beginning was making my tenants sign lease agreements right i'm sure you're like how the heck do you get tenants and not make them sign lease agreements for if you do live in south africa or for the people that live here you guys know you're always like ah especially if it's like rooms uh back rooms and things like that we never actually make people sign lease agreements it's just the thing of oh you want to stay here uh okay that's how much i need and then that's it right so the person gives you money every single month but actually lease agreements help because at the end of the day this thing is a business as well right you need to be able to prove that you're getting other income uh or that you are getting income from this and those lease agreements can actually assist more than that if you do need to take any legal uh, um legal action against your tenant or anyone those are proof that the person stays there because otherwise people can just do as they please and you won't actually be able to do anything legally about it right so always make sure you have lease agreements um 
make them sign these agreements you know detail everything the agreement how they're gonna pay when they're gonna pay how much they're gonna pay every single thing just note it down in the disagreement that way you will feel much safer number four never inherit property without doing so legally right another thing that we make a mistake that we always make especially as africans your mom gives you property or whoever gives you property and you take the property like oh my god i'm a property owner you're excited you start building this is what you're gonna do you plan everything no stop right there if they've given you property let them give it to you the legal way right if a family member i don't care if it's your mom it's your brother it's your daughter i do not care if they're giving you any property let them do so the right way right so let them give you their title deed go and change names do everything let it be like you're buying property do it the right way because if you don't do it trust me we are africans and if you're not african sorry i keep mentioning africans but if you if you do not do it the right way one day you guys could fight the person could be like ah, i want my property no i made the wrong decision no that time when you've built so always make sure to do it the right way right sign the proper documents do the whole handover every single thing make sure that you do it otherwise you'll have politics upon politics you'll even want to run away from the place because you it will just be too much number five right treat this property thing as a business if you've gotten this far you are probably treating it as a business and you know that you're going to get income from this so treat it as such be respectful um do the right things legally do everything properly so that you make sure that even in five years your properties will be still standing will be done properly there's nothing that will be done to them and you will feel much more at peace do not do anything um on the side trying to oh no i'm just gonna uh, i don't know get property from this person for a thousand rand like treat it as a business do your research make sure you have take you take a decision that is thought through do not just do anything for the sake of doing it because trust me you will regret it anyway thank you so much for watching this video i truly appreciate it if you did enjoy the tips please make sure to give this video a thumbs up please make sure to leave a comment below telling me what you have learned as a landlord or as a property owner leave your tips down below let us learn from you i am going to be doing other videos on this uh, especially this topic of property there's something that i've just went into and i feel like there's so many things that i can teach people especially sometimes you just want tips that are like just normal tips you're not looking for um i don't know you need to invest in this you need to whatever you just need tips from an a sister from a friend and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing so, um, that's exactly what i'm going to be giving you so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel and yeah let me know how you feel about this section or segment that we are doing